It's me, it's you, and it's yet another Total War League Siege Battle. What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another glorious battle for Marketable Skills Total War League Season 7. This is going to be part 2 of the Wolfgang versus the Comrades or Comrade in Arms group stages the first battle was truly incredible if you guys have not seen it already leave now and go and watch that battle if i remember the video should pop up the link to that video should pop up on either the top left or top right hand corner of the screen for you guys or if not worse comes to worse it will be down in the description for you it is definitely a battle for the history books do not miss it it is really good. This time we are going to be seeing the comrades, excuse me, comrades in arms on the attack and the Wolfgang on the defense. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you love this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And let's go ahead and get right into the battle. And as is tradition, guys, let's go ahead and look at the attacking forces first. Here we've got Armania, the Cartley Axemen boys. A very, very powerful faction indeed, and one that is going to hopefully do a lot of work for the comrades in arms in this battle. They're going to be bringing plenty of hillmen, some regular axemen, Cardii axemen, I can only hope. Yep, Cartley Axemen over here. We've got a Azat Knights, not an Asshat Knights. And as that knight unit, this absolutely stunning unit is going to be able to hopefully do a lot of damage, do a lot of flanking charges, defend against cavalry, and overall do a lot of work for the attacking players today. And such a beautiful unit as well. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of Cartley Axemen. We've also got four units of Eastern Archers brought to you by Armenia and one unit of the Eastern Javelinmen. Looking over at the other attacking force, we've got the mighty Epirus, the boys in orange. Oh man, I love the look of these guys. We've got some mercenary Italian swordsmen on the siege towers, ready to move up at a moment's notice. There's a unit of eastern archers on the wall. I just wanted to make sure that wasn't Cav we were about to see. Uh, but yeah, we've got some mercenary Italian swordsmen. We've got some Illyrian levies. We've got some mercenary Samnite warriors. Some royal... Man, the allergies are really kicking my butt, guys. I don't know how allergies have been affecting you guys this summer, but allergies have been killing me. Uh, we've got plenty of mercenary so, uh, Samnite warriors. We've got Royal Peltus, and as far as the general goes, we've got another Royal Peltus general. So definitely some elite units to be brought into the battlefield today. Also, bringing forth three units of mercenary Korean archers, a regular unit of archers, and a unit of Peltus as well. Definitely some great armies that are going to be able to do a lot of damage here in today's battle. Looking over at the Defenders Forces, I don't know exactly what they've brought, but I'll make sure to put it, um, like I usually do, put their army comps on the screen so you guys can check it out, admire it, and gaze with your mouth wide open in awe. Over here, we've got a unit of spears brought to you by Gate, bringing a unit of spears and anything else that you see on the battlefield. We've also got a unit of hillmen on the wall trying to take as many shots from those towers as they possibly can and have them waste their ammo. Just sitting on the walls and awaiting the devastation that the attackers are going to be bringing. Over here, we can actually see the general unit of Colchis. Um, a unit of Hippias Lancers, and beautiful unit. I love those long, pointy spears. Imagine being pierced through the heart by those. I can't imagine that it would be a fun thing to deal with. But we do, at the very least, have a horse general outside of the walls ready to charge at a moment's notice should they see a weak point on, against their enemies. Over here, we've got the Illyrian Levies pushing up a ram. Um, showing their sides a little bit. We've got the archers somewhere up here. They've kind of become hidden again, but if they do move over here, they could potentially get some good side shots on these guys. It is on the shield side, don't get me wrong, but it is still on the side nevertheless, and if they wanted to quickly melt these guys before they were able to push up this heavy battering ram and destroy the gate, then that would be the opportunity. It looks like 
Armenia is actually pushing up a couple of units of torts as well as four different towers around this corner here. I'm almost curious as to whether or not they are going to go ahead and try to attack this corner or even push it all the way over and attack this sidewall over here, just kind of tricking their opponent here a little bit. We can only find out with the times passing. Over here, the general is just watching their opponents, waiting for them to make the first move. Um, so that way, hopefully, they'll make a mistake and the general could move in and get rid of some archers or get rid of some powerful forces. Over here, we got the eastern archers actually opening fire over on some hillmen, over on some axemen, just trying to get rid of some of these units. A lot of the arrow fire is going to be hitting this tortoise. So it is kind of a little bit of a waste of ammo, but now that they're showing their side, the archers could potentially get some great fire off and on these forces over here. And the towers actually still have ammo tricking the eastern archers, forcing them to move up and try to get some kills. Now the towers are going to be able to get some good shots on those archers, get rid of a couple of them and make it easier for their archers to move in and hopefully destroy them. But we've got two very similar factions, Colchis, Colchis, however you pronounce it, and Armenia are both very heavy axe factions with the Cartley Axemen um, and can also field some very powerful cav as well. It's going to be really interesting to see these two powerful factions face off against each other. Which faction is going to be more powerful and which one is going to fall? Only time can tell. But over here, we're just kind of waiting slowly but surely. I'm going to go ahead and end, or not end the video, but pause the video here for a second, guys, while we wait for the real action to start. So make sure you guys buckle up because shit is about to go down. Oh shit, alright guys, we're back. We actually have some noble blood cavalry moving outside of the city walls, charging into some of these hillmen, stopping them from being able to move up those towers but they're going to quickly fall back now that the general units the Azat knights the asshat knights have moved in to be able to counter them but now that the general is falling back he's going to go ahead and move the noble blood cav uh, over to the side and just try and force these guys to start utilizing their ammo and utilizing everything they can to be able to get rid of these noble blood cavalry they are going to take a lot of fire. We've got four different archer units firing into them. A lot of the arrows are going to hit the tower, which is going to be great. Um, but, oh, the oil goes in and spills on the Noble Blood Cavalry, killing almost half of the unit. That is rough sight to see. Oh, because the hillmen were so close, utilizing that gate to the best of their ability to really do some good damage against that Noble Blood Cav. What a sad sight to see. Oh, the poor, poor bastards dying from their own gate. And now we've even got some archers firing into the eastern archers of the defending forces here. The eastern archers need to quickly start to fall back or else they are going to be out archered and really take a beating here. Please tell me the Noble Blood Cav isn't going to move back out. I don't want them to see, I don't want to see them die from their own gatehouse here again because that would just be a sad sight to see. But it looks like the archers are going to go ahead and try to fire into some to, to into the general force into the ads at night to try to take them out but they are being absolutely demolished here the eastern archers being melted after just one volley from every single one of those archers and now the sky has been blackened yet again a lot of the arrows are going to miss but a lot of them are also going to hit causing these archers to begin to break not a great start from the defending forces not a great start from wolfgang those archers are really hurt and those knights have definitely been dealt a harsh blow as well now we've got tortoises moving up and starting to destroy the wall one by one taking it down they need to be able to get these hillmen off of the wall here really quick because if they don't they are going to die these poor bastards are about to fall. They need to get the hillmen out of here. There's no point in wasting them on the wall to a tortoise. They're just giving the attackers free kills. No! Oh, one more hit and they are going to go down. No! Oh, and we've got even more hillmen falling against the might of the tortoise. And if they don't get off the wall quick, this unit is going to completely break, completely shatter, and get out of the battlefield. 
really really quickly here we've got lots of units over here on the front line we've got some spears lots of spears brought to you by gate a noble swords right here on the front line ready to move in at a moment's notice and do as much damage as possible they are going to be bringing a very very elite force to be able to fight back the defenders or fight back the attackers but yeah this hillman ooh, ooh, yep 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 they're gone yep Yep, they were they were way too late on getting off of that wall here um, and now they've been completely split in half this portion of the unit is separated and stuck on this wall and the only thing that this unit can do is just throw whatever javelins that they can to do as much damage as they can but what a waste i know that the hillmen are a very cheap unit but every unit counts and i don't think he was meaning to um, lose them like that. Oh, these Eastern Archers just get completely melted by some of the Archer forces over here as well. That is really rough to see. Already using a, uh, or already using, god damn it, already losing one of your units of Archers, a very, very, very much required unit during a siege battle already losing them here early on we've got some hillmen actually charging outside of the walls but now being countercharged by some axemen by some hillmen and by the general they are not going to last for very long but they're going to try to get as many kills as they possibly can actually having over 70 kills so far not bad for a hillman unit and now we've got some reinforcements we've got the cartley axemen the elite forces of armenia over here or i'm not armenia i'm sorry colchis sorry they're both very very elite, very similar factions as far as army comps go but yep yeah, we've already got the elite forces of the Cart cartley axemen moving up as well as the hillman moving up as well we've got archer fire going into the shield side or i'm sorry the actual sword side of some of these axemen as well as the hillman so a great target they're actually going to go ahead and fire into some of these azat knights just try to get rid of them try to get rid of that general because if they can do that the morale get rid of that morale that would be huge we've got some dacian skirmishers over here on the front line firing their projectiles firing their pila into these illyrian levies just trying to break them as soon as possible we've got archers in a great position firing into the illyrian levies on the walls while the spears hold them back quickly breaking them and not allowing them to push further into the settlement but this wall of noble swords and spears are going to quickly break the lightly armored illyrian levies of Epirus especially with the pila fire going into them as well now i would almost save my pila fire for a more elite unit like the royal peltus but in this case you are able to break that first engagement here really easily really quickly so that way your noble swords can really move in and start to do a lot of damage um, and hopefully start to do a lot of damage against the more elite troops of Epirus as well the noble swords are able to break this unit of Illyrian levies with the support of the Dacian skirmishers and so now they're going to go ahead and fall back switch out with the spears and get ready for the next wave of Epirus over here, we've got Armenia starting to move in, trying to neutralize this gatehouse, try to keep the defenders from utilizing those towers to the best of their ability, because towers can certainly win games. And as can this noble blood cavalry, this blood cavalry is trying to move around. Ooh, he's going to charge into the Cartley Axeman and get countercharged by the general. I don't know if that was a great use of the Blood Knights. They are going to take a lot of damage here in this battle. They have 41 men left so far, um, but they are still running, and the General is going to run him down. And if he can get rid of this cavalry, that would be huge for the attacking forces. This cavalry is going to go ahead and try to fall back to their General. They need to move up the General to be able to get some more support, but they have been caught. 37 men remaining, getting attacked by both the Cartley Axemen and the Azat Knights. They are not going to be long for this world. A very expensive cavalry unit not having done anything for the defenders. That is a sad sight to see indeed. Over here, the defenders are actually quickly breaking. The Cartley Axemen getting focused down by some archer fire. 37 men left, 40... 42 kills. And we've got the Hillmen valiantly holding against some of these Axemen two units of axemen that are pushing into the front line if they can take this gatehouse that would be huge for the attacking forces because the gate or i'm sorry the towers will then just focus fire on the defenders turn the towers against them and just get a whole bunch of kills looking over here i'm assuming the dacian skirmishers are out of ammo they have 84 kills so far and they are now in the front line firing or fighting against some mercenary italian swordsmen and we've even got some samnite warriors here on the front line already fighting against some of the noble swords of gate 145 kills so far still fresh and still 
kicking ass. Hopefully they'll be able to continue to get a lot of kills. These Noble Swords haven't even lost a man and they have 107 kills. Well done by Gates. Hey, really bringing up your elite troops early to really try to maximize the amount of damage that you can do. Over here, we've actually got some Hillmen that have broken past um colchis colchis is really falling over here we've got a couple of units of axemen ready to move in at a moment's notice um but yeah we've got some units actually charging in the hillman is going to go ahead and charge into the spears try and keep them from being able to move back onto the front line we got samnite warriors that are going to quickly surround those spears um i think he's going to go ahead and pull back these dacian skirmishers and potentially move them back up to be able to help support that front line um but they need to do something because the lines are breaking now the attackers need to start flooding this area send more troops in send more javelin capabilities and do whatever you guys can the general unit the hippias lancer general has fallen the general the as at night general as well as the cartley axeman has caught him off guard i'm not sure what's going on with this wolfgang player it seems very very distracted um but this yeah they have successfully broken um the hippias lancer general of colchis um and that is going to be a huge blow for colchis the morale is going to fall very very quickly um and we'll see that's going to be huge for the battle, especially how early on they fell as well. We've got some noble swords quickly moving up onto the side to be able to support these axemen. Two axemen fighting against one unit of other axemen. I'd say that the attackers definitely have the advantage here. Really tiring out units that don't need to be tired out, plus utilizing that tower capability to put the hurt in on these defending forces. We've got some more cartly axemen moving in, potentially going to utilize this gate to be able to try and get some kills against these hillmen against these axemen and do as much damage as they possibly can um but over on this side epirus has broken through with the support of armenia we've got some hillmen axemen mercenary samnite warriors a couple of units of those they need to fall back these spears are lost i would almost fall back these noble swords reform right here if they can and start fighting that way um they will show their sword side to the archers on the outskirts if they move them over here um but if they're able to get their archers close enough to be able to counter their opponent's archers and just continue to distract them i think that that could be a huge move from the defender's part but only time can tell. Luckily, they've moved. It looks like they've moved. No, they haven't. Never mind. We've got a unit of Cartley Axemen over here on the front line. We've got another unit of Cartley Axemen fighting over on the right side. We've got a huge blob. We've got some cycle charges from the Axemen. They're going to go and swap out, try to freshen up while the Cartley Axemen go in and try to absolutely melt these forces. But now we've got some more Cartley Axemen going up onto the wall preparing themselves bringing forth a great position to be able to start throwing some amazing javelins into these forces and now the archers have a great side shot into these cartley axemen as well they are going to absolutely melt this unit and unless they fall back there's absolutely nothing that they can do about it if i were the defenders at this point i would just fall back from these towers you've already lost the towers you don't need to hold this any longer either fall back to right here or fall back to here and just hold this position and force them to be able to start showing their sides set up some archers right here and start firing to the sides here and here and just start getting some great shots or if you wanted to just keep on holding with one unit that's fine too but fall back right here and they are going to do a very unorganized retreat <laughs> um and just basically mass drag select everything and fall back and that is going to cause a lot more last losses for these axemen these axemen are going to break very very quickly and the cartley axemen are definitely going to take some more damage as they're falling back as well over on this side, Gate is trying to do whatever they can to be able to hold back the tide of Epirus troops, really trying to get as much damage as possible. These Noble Swords, having not really taken any damage, have 29 kills, 30, 31, racking them up slowly but surely. We've got another unit of Noble Swords with 179 kills. we got the General unit over here firing their Pila into the troops with 42 kills. This Noble Sword, 207 kills, 86 men remaining, and the Archers over here in the background just trying to do what they can to support their forces here on the front line which are doing a great job of holding back Epirus. 
Over here, the Cartley Axemen need to reform. You only need one of these guys to hold this position. Reform them right here. Let's see. Yeah, if you reform them about right here, the tower won't be able to fire at you anymore. So reform one unit. Hold this gap right here. Fall back the other unit and just prepare to hold for as long as you possibly can. We've got the archers firing into um, their opponent's archers. Their opponent's eastern archers over here just trying to do what they can to break them. They have some great kills so far though. 67 kills with this unit of archers. We've got a 110 kills with this unit 113 kills and 95 kills with those eastern archers really doing some work um but yeah gate right now has got to pull a lot of strings right now they are actually breaking a unit of mercenary italian swordsman with 110 men remaining they are going to stop breaking but that shows that they're not necessarily in the best position that they could be at we've got some spears actually moving back up to hold the front line against the sam knight warriors for as long as they can um but if gaite has any more troops they certainly need to move them up to be able to hold this line because they only have noble swords left, which don't get me wrong, noble swords are a very powerful unit that can get a lot of kills. But we need some more frontline troops to be able to help hold this so the noble swords can stay as fresh as they possibly can. These noble swords are going to go ahead and reform to be able to charge into that front line and keep Epirus from being able to push in any further. We've got some archers moving in. I think it was just a little bit of Rome 2 glitchiness forcing them to move in while they were trying to get into a better position. we got the Dacian Heavy Bowmen shooting into the shield side of these Sam Knight Warriors trying to support these noble swords in any way, shape, or form that they possibly can. Um, and just try to get rid of the Sam Knight Warriors, get rid of the more elite troops of Epirus as quickly as they possibly can. I have no idea what's happened over here, but we've got Carly Axman um, getting completely surrounded by Carly Axman and regular Axman as well, and about to get peeled to death. Um, and then we've got a couple other units of Carly Axman valiantly holding this point, but like I said, you only need one of these guys to hold. You just need to hold and to be able to send, if you have the extra troops, send some extra troops to be able to help out Gate. At this point, he is going to need the help. He is doing a lot of work against Epirus. We just have some Thoreo Spears left, a couple of Royal Peltas left. We've still got the Archers left, but if you can get some more troops over here on that front line to be able to help out Gate, he's going to be able to be the hammer while you are the anvil as Colchis. Um, and really just continue to wreck Epirus and get as many kills as they possibly can. Because now that Armenia has been able to kind of push back Colchis like really far over in this location, they can start sending reinforcements over this way and really helping their Epirus ally, which is going to be huge in this battle. We got a little bit of cycle charging from the noble swords here just again trying to keep them fresh trying to keep them as fresh as possible to be able to get as much damage in it as possible we got a lot of range capabilities the rail spears archers a little bit of everything moving up i mean even armenia is sending up all of their eastern archers to be able to support on this flank because they know that this is the most dangerous flank right now that the defenders have brought they need to be able to send up as many reinforcements as they can to break through this. Because as soon as they break through this flank, it is over. We've still got a unit of noble swords over here able to move up at a moment's notice. Which they might have to move them up sooner rather than later. This unit of noble swords with 280 kills are quickly melting from the range capability that the attackers have brought. There's 26 men remaining. A lot of spears have taken down a lot of good men today. And a lot of arrows have done the same. These noble swords are trying to get as many kills as possible. But they are fighting against the Cartley Axemen. Which is an armor penetrating unit. And a great counter to some noble swords. They're going to be able to chew them up and get a lot of kills against them. Over on this side... We've got a unit of Cartley Axemen from Colchis breaking. Um, the Cartley Axemen from Armenia... Or, sorry, a Cartley Axemen from Armenia breaking. The Colchis Cartley Axemen are starting to retake a little bit of ground, but they too are starting to lose a couple of units, so they're going to have to be careful about that. The archers are still nearby, just trying to do as much damage as they possibly can, get as many kills as they can. I'm not sure what happened to the archer over here, um, whether it was, was, nope, it wasn't this Carly Axeman, so I'm assuming they just got shot down by enemy archers, which is a sad sight to see indeed. Over on this side, we've got some more Axeman breaking, but Epirus has broken through. Epirus is going to go ahead and start retaking this gate. we got Noble Swords uh, two units of noble swords holding back this reckless hate for as long as they possibly can but every we, it looks like a mass retreat has been called the the Rayo spears are going to get some great flanking fire as these noble swords are falling back this is a great opportunity to be able to get a lot of kills especially these noble swords are going to show their backs while they're being shot at they just need to get out of their front face 
and uh, start holding these positions. But that's also going to leave this flank open um, for the attackers to be able to start sending troops over here and just completely enveloping the defenders in this battle. This unit of Noble Swords has 313 kills, but are finally breaking at just a couple of men left. We've got Royal Paltus that still have ammo starting to move in. We've got Archers. We've got Cartley Axemen. We've still got some Hillmen. We've got a little bit of everything starting to move into the fray. These Archers are firing into the Cartley Axemen on the wall, completely shattering them, just trying to get rid of as many units as they possibly can. The Noble Swords have fallen back to a slightly better position. These Noble Swords... Um, or I'm sorry... It's actually a Dacian Heavy Bowman that's out of ammo. Going to go ahead and move up and hold back this horde of troops. Uh, Mercenary Italian Swordsman actually starting to break with only 45 kills remaining. They're going to try to hold them back while the Noble Swords get into a better position. They're going to go ahead and charge in and start doing some work against the Royal Paltus of Epirus. But we've got a great position from the Eastern Javelin to be able to start getting some great side fire on these Noble Swords. And hopefully get a lot of kills. We've still got another depleted unit of Noble Swords over on this side as well, but I'm not sure how many units that they have left. We just cannot see because this is from the viewpoint of the attackers. Only time can tell. The Noble Swords are going to go ahead and fall back, try to get to a slightly better position, but they are going to take a lot of fire. Oh my goodness, the amount of damage that just went into these guys. 73 men remaining. Whenever they started falling back, they had a little over 100 that archer fire, that range fire just completely decimated that noble sword unit. And that's exactly what the attackers need to do in this battle. Is just focus fire these noble swords and keep them down. Because those noble swords can do a lot of damage if they're in melee combat. But as soon as they start getting fired at, they're done. Over here, we've got the general unit of Noble Swords with 150 out of 160 men remaining, 68 out of 160 men remaining in that one, and 152 out of 160 remaining. So we definitely still have some Noble Swords, but for how long? With the amount of range fire, it's only a matter of time before they break. Over on this side, we've got the Cartley Axemen still holding valiantly against the Cartley Axemen of Armenia. Still just trying to hold this choke point and keep them from being able to flank these Noble Swords. Noble Swords doing whatever they can to be able to hold this location. These Noble Swords are still fresh, still fighting against the Royal Peltis. Oh my goodness, Royal Peltis versus a depleted unit of Noble Swords. The Noble Swords will break, but hopefully they'll be able to get enough kills to be able to really weaken this Royal Peltis and make it easier for the next unit in the slaughtering line to be able to get a lot of kills. And now we've got a little bit of a cycle charge going in to these Royal Peltis, just trying to get as many kills as they possibly can and get that charge bonus off to really just try to weaken these Royal Peltis and take them out. If they can take out a Royal Peltis unit with a couple of weak Noble Swords units, I would definitely say that that is worth it uh but yeah these royal peltas are just fighting valiantly over here we actually have a little bit of a fallback from the cartley axemen i'm not sure where they're falling back i can't imagine that they have that many troops left um but yeah we've got a lot of archer fire actually going into the cartley axemen holding off on the bottom here we've got some archers from Colchis as well, firing into some of these forces over here. I think they were firing into some of the Cartley Axemen, just trying to do as much damage as they possibly can. Um, I mean, you might as well use up your ammo. You got to do whatever you can to be able to continue to fight against this. Uh, but yeah, the Royal Peltis, man, they're taking a beating, but they're definitely serving up, serving up some death to these Noble Swords. 30 men remaining. 22 men remaining, popping headhunt, really just trying to take out these Royal Peltas. We got 213 kills, we got 139 kills, but yeah, these Royal Peltas are doing a great job against these Noble Swords, and they're just going to continue to cycle charge in and out of there and just try to get as much damage off as they possibly can. Now we got the Noble Swords actually starting to fall back to the bottom of the staircase. I'm kind of surprised. I feel like a charge down the staircase is going to give their opponents some sort of bonus. Over here, we got our Armenia starting to charge some of their Cartley Axemen, um, but they're going to go ahead and faint charge, let this unit of Cartley Axemen move in first, um, and then charge in behind with another unit of Cartleys, while this unit of Cartley from Colchis holds valiantly and tries to do as much damage as they possibly can. Um, again, I don't know what they have left. This could be all that they have left, um, so we'll see, but if they can break, if the attackers can break through this, then it is definitely GG for the defenders. Over here, we've got a unit of 66 Noble Swords fighting against the Royal Peltis. 
Royal Pelt is trying to get as much damage off as they possibly can. We got Thoreo Spears that are at ammo now in the fight as well. Use the Whip has completely exhausted this Royal Peltus unit. The General needs to move up and use Second Wind to keep them fresh if they can. Um, but yeah, the Noble Swords are doing a great job of getting some good work in. We got a lot of Archer Fire going into these Noble Swords, but because they're depleted, you're also going to get some friendly fire in there. I think this is the ideal situation for the Defenders, because not only is that Archer Fire going to go into the Noble Swords, but... At the very least, it's also going to go into the Peltus as well as the Thoreo Spears of Epirus. So hopefully they'll be able to get some friendly fire and the archers will do some damage to their own forces as well. This unit of Noble Swords is starting to break soon. They're going to have to move in either their general or this unit of Noble Swords to be able to hold the line unless they just plan on holding right down here on the bottom of the stairs. If they can break what's left of Epirus, then they can turn around and try to fight whatever's left of Armenia as well. Um, Colchis is doing a great job of just trying to get as much damage off as they possibly can, utilizing their Cartley Axemen to continue to do the work against the Cartley Axemen of Armenia. One second, let me get a drink real quick. But... I fear that it is not going to be enough. They are dropping 51 men remaining. We got 35 men remaining. They will not be able to hold for too much longer. Now we've got Archer Fire just completely front dumping the general, doing whatever damage that they can against him, just trying to take him out and get rid of the morale of Epirus. These archers look like they are out of ammo. They got their swords out, ready to go in at a moment's notice and try and help their general out against these Thoreo Spears, but we have so much Archer Fire going into this general. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to hold. We've got more and more Archer Fire going into this Royal Peltus general, but with the front jump, I just don't think that these Archers have, what's, have it in them to be able to take out that general, but they have to do something to be able to win this battle at this point. This general unit in Noble Swords with 130 kills so far, so, um starting to actually break this unit of Thoreo Spears. This Noble Sword is trying to break this unit of Paltas from Epirus that have only six kills. I'm almost curious, did they even use their ammo? Um, I don't know, but if they can break that unit, that'd be huge. Now we got a unit of mercenary Cretan archers moving in to be able to continue to distract these Noble Swords. And then now we've got the General being charged by a unit of Royal Paltas. The General is going to quickly break. I didn't realize that they had three. I only thought that, I thought they only had two units of Royal Peltus. And now Armenia has broken through. The Azat Knights are now going to be able to get a little bit of, of a flank on, on Gate. And this is all that they have left. A few archers and a couple of noble swords. And they are about to be enveloped. Guys, I think that it is safe to say that... The Comrades in Arms are going to win this fight but what a battle guys what a valiant attempt from wolfgang there were a lot of mistakes in this battle definitely definitely a battle to learn from um i'm not really quite sure what happened during this battle um but there were definitely a lot of things that i i was very confused about um but overall still a really good battle now these noble swords are going to get completely surrounded and take fire into their backs they are not going to hold off for long and they should start breaking here relatively quickly all of these archers are going to start to break as well they have been charged by so many different units and the noble swords are going to break here as well g g's to both sides great win for the comrades in arms and a great battle let's go ahead and look at the kills here we've got boss prophet playing as gate um taking the lead here on kills we got second place chairman mao with kills then bupathi then nella looking at bupathi or epirus doing a good job with their archers 112 110 136 we've got 204 on those sam knight warriors 113 205 166 188 Boss Prophet, we've got 147, 163, 106, 102, 313, 332, 150, 217, and 232. Noble Swords, nothing to be laughed at. Those units are really, really good. Looking at Chairman Mao and Armenia, we've got 167, 105, 136, 146. We've got 143, 163, 150, 109, 112, 159. And then we've got Nella, 131, 
145 and 155 guys again if you like this video make sure to hit that like button if you love this video make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content hear more of my sexy voice and see my sexy face make sure to check out my twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash capn4is much love to all of you guys i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you again here pretty damn quick peace